Hi, it's James. Welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, we're going to talk about the top five stadiums that are under 50,000. Um, now, I have to, before we start, I have to apologize. I am truly sorry, Texas Tech. I looked at the list. Honestly, I would have put Tech at number 10, and I would have put BYU in the... Um, Honorable mention. Uh, Texas Tech Stadium is absolutely gorgeous. I love the Spanish architecture. I love the fact that across the high, across the highway, there's a parking garage, a enormous parking garage, and then there's a walking bridge that can get you from the parking garage to the stadium. Um, the concessions are great. I know that because I went to the, one of their baseball games. So if I could have the same food at the football game as, as the baseball concessions were fantastic um so i should have put tech at number 10 i apologize to you red raider fans so that being said um i also need to apologize to all of you uh, i actually did a video of number five so let's show number five the charlotte 49ers university of north carolina charlotte to be specific i actually did a video on it and I inadvertently deleted the raw footage. So I apologize to you folks. Uh, I can say that uh, you can see the concession stands from the fence. And they got Bojangles chicken. They've got all kinds of great food there. Uh, the brickwork, even on the outside, looks great. Um, the only real ding I have, because the atmosphere is great too, because with all the trees around, you know, being in North Carolina, it's going to have a lot of trees. The only ding I have is there should be more chairback seats. That's why it's not higher on the list. But overall, for a small school, this stadium is absolutely perfect for what they need. Number four, University of Tulsa. Now, I, I recognize the fact that it's one of those stadiums where one side has club and suite. And the other one does not, um, but it looks fantastic. It's got this very old school feel to it, almost like a cathedral. Um, and I will say this, um, they could very easily expand on the opposite side of the club and suites if they wanted to. Uh, what I would do if I was Tulsa is I would try to buy some land um, Move the basketball arena and then expand your football stadium. But Tulsa's a private school. I don't know if they need more than 35,000 capacity. Um, number three, Utah State. Now, if you watch some of the other uh, stadium uh, channels on YouTube that cover college football stadiums and, and stuff, uh, there's one in particular, I think it's called the Wide World of Stadiums. Um, you would be, um, well, you wouldn't be surprised, but they say, you know, every stadium in Utah has a great scenic view with the mountains. Utah State is no exception. I think they did the side with the towers really well. They've got a statue to Merlin Olson, who was uh, one of their all-time great players, who eventually went on to play for the Rams and then became a, good, a famous actor. Um, the side that doesn't have the club and suites, it's literally built into the hill. And so the top, when you're in the parking lot, you literally walk through the gate and you walk down. Um, they could easily put an upper deck on that side if they needed to expand. So, and since they're in the far north part of, of Utah, um, who knows? I, I, maybe they could get more fans if they offer cheap tickets. Well, the, Tickets are pr pretty cheap anyway. Number two, Wake Forest. There's plenty of parking. The side that has the club and suites is absolutely fantastic. And I wish they would do the same thing on the other side. Um, the only problem there is that's where their ten the, the tennis facilities are pretty close to the football stadium. And their tennis facilities are amazing. 
They take their tennis pretty seriously at Wake Forest. So, I don't know if they need to expand. Um, uh, it is one of the smaller stadiums in Power 5 football. Um, I think an, an upper deck on that other side would, would do really well. But I will say this. This is the thing that got them to number two. The, all the, the bench seats are painted in gold. And then the, the, the chair backs are black. So the seating arrangement, all the seats match the school's colors. And it just looks absolutely phenomenal. If you didn't go back, if you didn't watch the video, go back and watch it. Uh, it is really, really sharp looking. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see a whole lot of their concession stand area. Um, it is what it is. Uh, of course, I also didn't have to deal with ushers trying to set up for a uh, graduation. But in spite of what happened to me in Durham, North Carolina, I'm going to put Duke at number one. Yes, Duke. Surprise, surprise. I've heard so many people belittle and 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 just they they talk trash about Wallace Wade Stadium. I'm telling you, when you see it in person, there most of the seats, from what I could tell, were chairbacks. The tower side. On the outside looks really good. What I need to do uh, before I, when I edit the video, is go back and take a um, picture of that because it looks phenomenal. It looks so good. Um, um, and like I said, on the on the non club and suite side, you could see all the concessions and bathrooms that are at the top, and. It would be so easy to add an upper deck on that side if they needed to. Um, all right, so I learned. So I want to take a few minutes and and uh, address Duke University, if if it's possible for them to actually watch this video, because I realize my birthday was uh, May twelfth. Okay, I spent that weekend with my godmother and some of my aunts in North Carolina, which is why I was able to go do those four videos. I, I did Wake Forest, I did Duke, I did North Carolina, and I did North Carolina State. I did not realize, wasn't even thinking about it, that some schools would have graduation the, that weekend. Okay. The people in the Duke basketball arena were very gracious. They, they, they actually escorted me in. I was able to do the inside of the arena there at Cameron. Um, by the way, your indoor, uh, it, your basketball arena is amazing. It's as cool as advertised. Uh, I would love to go in person and see a game there one day. But I get over to the football stadium, and I uh, there's an usher setting up some uh, uh, metal detectors at one of the main entrances. And I said, hey, I'm not here for any of this. I'm here because I do videos of football stadiums around the country. Can I just for a few seconds get a shot of the inside? And she's like, no. I was like, whoa. Okay. So I started to walk away from her, and I walked towards the indoor practice facility, which I kudos to Duke for having one because they're a smaller school. There are other schools like Cincinnati, for example, that's joining the Big 12 that don't have an indoor practice facility yet. At least Duke has one. You know, so good for you guys. And I start to film the indoor practice facility, and I hear this voice like, you can't film over there. You can't film the dock, the loading dock. I'm like, I turned it off. And I'm like, I don't care about the loading dock. I'm looking at your facilities, the football stadium, the indoor practice facility, 
Where are your practice fields? How does that compare to Oklahoma State? And how does that compare to other Big 12 schools? That's what I'm interested in. So please, people at Duke, get your guard dog to chill out. There's no reason. I mean, this is the, the, this is the, the thing that blows my mind away. The security people that were in the basketball arena were amazing. They were so friendly. They were so great. That one lady that was there by the, the football stadium was an absolute jerk. So maybe what I just need to do, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I needed to call ahead of time and say, hey, look, I cover college football online. Can you please have somebody show me around? Because I'm trying, people at Duke, I'm trying to show the rest of the country what I saw in person. And what I saw was a good, decent football stadium that has potential if they want to expand. And with all those trees around that campus, the, the campus at Duke is gorgeous. And I tried to show as much of that as I possibly could. So the people that want to badmouth Wallace Wade, they don't know what they're talking about. It's a good stadium. Is it as nice as what Alabama has or what Florida State has? Or, no, it's not. But for the, the fact that Duke is a private school, does it meet the needs of the students, the fans, and the alumni? Yes, it does. And it does a really good job. So hopefully people at Duke will see this and um, maybe uh, have your ushers not drink so much caffeine before they go to work. Anyway, rant over. <laughs> um, I will say this. I, I've been listening to the Monty show in the afternoons. Uh, he's out of Utah and he has been recommending Papa Murphy's. Um, I think they're a sponsor. And I got me a Calazone today. This is just half of it. I couldn't put all of it in the, in the air fryer. It was so big. But I will tell you this. And they're not even a sponsor of this channel. I don't have any sponsors, at least not yet. But you want a great Calazone? Oh, my gosh. This marinara sauce is amazing. Mm. Mm. That is wonderful. Wonderful. That's amazing. Thankfully, I got one for tonight. I'm going on a date tomorrow night. And then I got one for Saturday and I got one for Sunday. So thank you, Monty, for uh, pointing that out to me. Appreciate it. Um, I guess us chunky guys have to stick together. <laughs> Although I'm trying to lose weight. Anyway. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe. Um, there's going to be some more good content coming up. I thought about it. I don't know if I should or not. I may do a video of the, top, of the worst stadiums I've ever seen. I will tell you this, number one on that list is literally half a stadium. Half. On the other side, you know what's on the other side? A CVS. A CVS pharmacy. So anyway, I'm, think, I'm seriously thinking about it. I don't know if I... I, I don't want to bash anybody, but it is kind of weird that, you know, this particular school has half a stadium. So... They need to get the CVS to move and at least put uh, seats for their opposing fans. So, anyway, thank you so much. Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And as always, go Pokes.